Hello! Hope you're well. So today I want to do a little unboxing video. First ever unboxing video on my channel! Woo woo woo! So exciting. So basically I ordered some goods from Jackson's Art some time ago and uh, then the parcel was stuck in customs so I've been waiting for a long time and actually I kind of forgot what I ordered. So basically I was ordering as I was recovering from a surgery and um, I guess it was a bit of a surprise because I waited for such a long time to receive the parcel. Um, usually it's super fast, but then, uh, so I wouldn't blame it on Jackson's art at all. It was just um, customs. But basically, yeah, I ordered something uh, being uh, on strong painkillers and then I kind of forgot what I ordered. So I guess when things arrived, I was like, oh yeah, that's very interesting. So, okay, the first thing is a Holbein acrylic wash, uh, luminous orange. So I haven't used luminous colors in my work for a long time and I was deciding between trying some paints or trying some pencils. Uh, quite often when I paint sunsets I would use like pastels and luminous colors I have and I wanted to try a paint and I already use acrylic gouache by Holbein and I really love it and I thought that could be quite a fun thing to try. And uh, I don't usually mix uh, my acrylic gouache. So I didn't even have a white color and one pa white paint. But I thought that it would be fun to play around a little bit more and mix colors. Because actually Holbein gouache comes in so many different colors. I never really found a need to mix as much. I do mix a lot with traditional gouache but not with Holbein uh, acrylic gouache. But here is a giant tube of white gouache. So I'm very excited. Oh yeah, by the way, so I don't think I'm going to be swatching in this video unless I'm going to edit it later if I'm going to like uh, run through everything very quickly. Uh, but let's see. So far, just showing all the things. So yeah, here is a small tube and here is a large tube. Very exciting. And the next thing is uh, Windsor Newton Designer's Gouache Opera Rose. That's very nice and very exciting. Uh, so I had it before some years ago and it's a wonderful, wonderful um, pink color. And uh, I thought I was kind of lacking on the reds and especially pinks and cool reds. And I thought it would be quite fun to try it. And it consists of how many pigments? Hmm. Ah, interesting, there's no pigments here. Have they stopped writing pigments in the gouache since now? Is it something Windsor Newton or just with some of the teams? Hmm, that is very interesting. Because uh, usually you would find a pigment written here. Uh, like on the other one. Yeah, interesting. But um, either way, good pink color. Um, next two colors, next two tubes, next two paints are by Shin Han and they are a mixture of gouache and watercolor so apparently there is uh, this kind of paint it's called hybrid of watercolor and gouache and it's made in Korea and I'm very very excited to try it so basically it should have qualities both of gouache and watercolor it should give a beautiful interesting wash when using as watercolor yet coverage and opacity and brightness when used as gouache. So I'm quite uh, keen to try. They were also a bit cheaper than the usual gouache paints. So I really want to give it a go and I went for uh, Linden Green, which is a very bright green. And uh, these days I really, really like like the very salad greens. I'm very drawn towards them. So that was a very kind of like a, a predictable thing. And also like a neutral cobalt blue. I guess blue with a little bit of um, uh, kind of heading towards the green and I didn't have any blue like that because I ran out I think I had lots of blues with red undertones so I'm very curious to try it and I'm very curious how it's going to affect how I use the paints as well and that these two uh, they are Hordam watercolors Hordam aquarelle and they are super granulated paints. They're so small. Look, what can you see? So small, so tiny, so pretty. I'm very excited to try them and actually 
So when I was recovering from the surgery, I was watching all these uh, unboxing and swashing videos. And my most favorite <laughs> was by Natasha Newton. And she has such a soothing voice. And it really got me through the recovery from the surgery. And she was uh, swatching these paints. <laughs> she had them tubed. But I thought I'm going to try them uh, in little pans. I don't use that much watercolor in my work anymore. But sometimes I'm very curious still and especially about Horadam Schmincke they're my favorite watercolors and I still have a set so I use it usually for first layers and then cover it with gouache so I'm quite curious to um, see the granulated paints and how they work and I think it's quite convenient to take on trips on, on drawing locations because I live in Norway and there is a lot of nature and I think uh, making a little uh, a travel kit or like a drawing, portable drawing trip kit. They would fit really, really well because they're very, very portable. So that's the paints I got actually. So only very, very restrained. <laughs> the next thing, next thing I wanted to get for a while, I guess it's not as exciting, <laughs> but it's a cute box with uh, these beautiful ceramic palettes. So quite often I work with ink and this is perfect to create little wells and tones and uh, I sometimes use palette, a tear away palette or like a plate but I thought it would be quite nice to maybe have something like that because actually uh, if I use traditional gouache then I can hide it and use it a little bit later once it's dry so the paints don't go to waste so I'm very keen to try them I think especially for ink and gouache. And the next items are these three brushes. So uh, the first brush is Chinese painting brush and it has a very like a very long bristles. And I hear I think here comes my like very tired from a surgery brain because I can't remember ordering a brush with such long bristles and I think I must have been so tired and so like uh, a little bit out of it that I thought that the brush is going to be like this but it's actually quite long so my normal uh, Chinese uh, painting brushes are probably this size or even this size so this is very interesting and very nice and as I love working with ink I think it's going to be very very fun to try and the next brush is Escoda Ultimo Sintetico so it's a very pretty brush and I have tried their brushes before I tried different range I think maybe called Prado and I really loved it and I thought I'm gonna try this range as well to see how it's uh, gonna work uh, very curious about it it looks very nice and then I got this by Jackson's Art, which is called Raven. And I thought because I'm getting these, oops, okay, because I'm getting these uh, Horadam Aquarelle, it would be very nice to have like a good brush, small brush for a watercolor painting like this. So I'm very curious to try them all. And uh, I guess I'm most probably curious about this brush and this Chinese painting brush. It's very, very peculiar shape. Also, I ordered a lot of samples of paper. And this is something very exciting. I think maybe in the video it's not as exciting, but I think out of all the things I ordered, paper is the one I'm super excited about. So the first one is um, Eco Handmade Paper by Jackson's Art. And then it's their own brand and it's a small sample pack. And they all were like maybe 50p or something like that. Um, so I ordered this. So as you can see, uh, paper ranges from 1200 GSM. So this is bonkers how thick it is. Then the next one is medium rough, 425 grams. And then we have um, smooth. 
300 GSM. So they're perfect for probably gouache and watercolors, and I'm very keen to try. Like, I'm not a huge fan of handmade paper, but then I saw some people use it, and I thought it would be quite interesting to try. So I got a sample pack. Then I got a sample pack of uh, these two I'm going to show it for. So this one was like maybe 20p. It was a Canson, I think, not um, paper. Very tried. I mean, like, you know, it looks like a paper. It's hard. I think when once I'm going to be testing it, then it's going to be more fun. And then I have this uh, Saunders Waterford uh, testing paper. So I must say that Bokenford paper by this mail is the one I use the most. I think it's a perfect combination of good quality and price. So this one here, hot, is the one I use all the time. It's fantastic. But I wanted to try different uh, textures because I feel, yeah, I work with hot pressed mainly, but I really want to um, see if maybe a rough or not is going to be fun as well. So we have Bokenford here. And then uh, Saunders Waterford. So I think Saunders Waterford also comes usually in different colors. So there's white or there is a high white. So here there is hot pressed in white and uh, not in white and the rough in high white. So I'm quite curious to try. And actually this paper is something I got uh, full size as well because I know that I've tried it before and the way it looks uh, with gouache and the colors I use look is just absolutely magical like uh, yeah immaculate quality very very nice so this is it's actually the same mill same Cuthbert's mill Cuth Cuthbert's Cuthbert's I don't know I'm sorry <laughs> for butchering the name but basically Book and Ford is slightly more affordable than Saunders Waterford and Sauter Saunders Waterford I think is the best watercolor paper or one of the best and Bokenford is a good combination of price and quality. <laughs> so that's where I stand. And the next is two rivers paper. Wide handmade rag watercolor paper, cotton linen gelatin tub sized. 300 GSM, 410, 630 knots. I guess um, it was like, a, again, maybe 50p or something like that. And I want to see how it looks like. And we have a little um, well pack here. So the thickest one is very chunky. Then there is one in the middle, very nice. And the thin one, quite curious to try and see. They're very like very textured, very heavy card-like papers. So I'm very, very much uh, pumped <laughs> to try them. And um, then I have the papers I got in full size. So it's called one uh, quarter, basically just one fourth of a um, paper sheet. So I had, I don't know, probably you're not gonna see the uh, watermark, but this is arches. Maybe we're gonna see it, let's see. Let's try. So yeah, arches paper that's very nice and I have some hot pressed and I have some not so it would have a bit more texture and I ordered 10 of um, Saunders hot pressed as well so I found out that it was um, a bit cheaper to get the quarters than a pad i um, not quite sure why, but it worked out really well. So that's um, the haul for today. Lots of interesting things. Uh, maybe they don't look as impressive as a lot of different colors or pencils, but I'm very excited to try them all. And I hope that you enjoyed watching me and find this uh, very paper heavy uh, delivery of art supplies. I hope you have a wonderful day and see you soon. Bye-bye.